Welcome to episode four. Four wire explained. Like how I did that. I really didn't mean to do that. And I was struggling for a topic for number four. And I pretty much came up with the fact that four wire was the next thing to talk about. Turns out it's episode four. Welcome back. My name is Rob and you're a little bit down a journey into the rabbit hole of comms. Um, hopefully you've been starting with one and gotten here because you've seen one, two, and three. And if you haven't, we'll do that link right down there. But um, today we're talking about four wire comms. And four wire comms are a kind of a universal lowest common denominator of communication. Speaking instrument, traveling to a listening instrument, and a speaking instrument traveling to a listening instrument. This is how we communicate. Talk goes to listen, talk goes to listen, and we have communication, right? And I'll let that sink in for a second. This is true in verbal communication, just open through the air. It's true in a telephone conversation where we talk and listen, we have a talk circuit and a listen circuit. It's true in, I've discussed uh, in, um, well, let's move on and say it is true in a band. They're wearing ears, in ears, and they're listening to uh, a mix that's been built for them, which includes some instructions from the uh, worship leader or the media, I forgot what they're called, but the uh, worship director, the worship director is talking into his microphone, who he's not a vocalist, talking into his microphone, and that's heard in the in-ear circuit. And then the performers will talk back in their microphone, and everybody hears it through their ears, right? That's a comms system. Um, you could have a comm system going from a artist on stage to a mixer at front of house, in the talk back, the, the artist speaks into the mic, it goes through the PA and goes to the mixer. The mixer hears it, and then the mixer has a talk back mic, which is heard in the ears or is heard in the uh, monitors or is heard in the mains. And that person who's a ways away is talking and is being heard this way. It's just bi directional communication. So, uh, in its lowest sense, four wire is the lowest common denominator of communication, but it's done through wires. So I really want to hammer home the idea that four wire communication is a talking instrument going to a listening instrument. We'll see a talking instrument. Can you still see that? Oh, good. A microphone going to a listening instrument. We'll make that a speaker. And then the same thing happening over here. I could spend this entire episode drawing different examples of what four wire actually is. And we would probably be best served by that because I'm trying to hammer home that four wire comms is nothing more than two directional paths in opposition. Ever heard of somebody uh, asking for a uh, married pair of XLR? XLR female and an XLR male, maybe taped together with electrical tape to an XLR male, an XLR female, and they've been taped together. They're a married pair. One is going one way and one is going the other. This is that person setting up a four wire path. All right. I'm going to take it that you guys get what a four wire path is. And I'm going to move on. I'm going to show you some examples of four wire paths. I've done some theoretical examples, but here is where some four wire paths are really common 
and uh, useful and intended. How about um, a uh, truck to truck or a kit to kit? What if you had um, comms over here and you had comms over here? Oops, I'm going to go back and do that. You know, different comms over here and you have comms over here. And they're not the same brand. They're not the same signal type. The question would be, can we get them down to four wire and have them pass them across? So we might have a RTS and we might have a ClearCom. And we need a magic box over here to send this RTS comms to this ClearCom. Well, we're, oops, I didn't want to use those colors anyways. I'm not going back. We're going to basically need two directions and we've reached this area, which is the lowest common denominator area of four wire comms. This is a specific device to get into this two wire or two wire to the four wire world. And I've talked about that in the two wire segment. And I asked you a question at that time. What's the difference in between a two wire to four wire and a four wire to two wire converter. Does anybody know? This is comms 201 level stuff, but I think you can do it. The real truth is there is no difference in between a two wire to four wire and a four wire to two wire because it is implied that a bidirectional signal goes in and out and a bi-directional signal goes in and out of my famous blue box. There is no difference. It is the same device. It's two wire in, two wire out, and it's four wire in, four wire out. So it's the same device. Throw that at your buddies. Tell them you watched a lecture on comms and you know the difference in between the two wire and four wire and four wire and two wire, and they don't. So um, what would we do with four wire? Here's some examples. We would go comms to comms. And I, well, Rob, you just said that example. My example is different. Let's say we have a frame, and we need to move to any of these things. We could move to another frame. We can move to a two wire section, right? We could move to a telephone line. We could move to um, a voice of God speaker. We could move to um, a stage announce. This is a uh, same thing. Stage announce, voice of God. You could, if you were in the four wire world, because all you're doing is making analog audio out, you could hook that to a speaker that has no reason except for one key could talk on that speaker and you could announce over the stage. Brain Buster, you don't need a stage out, stage announce out of your comm in order to do this. If it's a four wire, it's analog out. It's a discrete destination, and you only talk on that when you want to talk on that. There's no talk circuit into that example, but it's a good example just the same. Um, what else could we connect to a four-wire path? We could connect a recorder. You could record the conversation on comms, whether for um, training or for audit purposes or security or whatever. Um, you could just plug a recorder right into a comm system, if it's a four wire system, in order to record 
whatever portion of the conversation you wanted to. You could go to a free speak. Um, and I, free speak is, has two wire ports on the back. It also has four wire ports on the back. And this is going to be leading me into the next part of this is connectors shouldn't be misleading. Oh, my com port only has RJ 12s and this has RJ 45s. So it won't work together. Or my com has 45s and this thing has um, an in and an out. What do I do with that? Well, go back to the basics and say a four wire port is a four wire port. And you might have an RJ45, which I'm not going to go real deep into the pinning, but it is... Uh, Oh man, I messed up there. It's pinned out like this. Um, but in, an, in a four wire port, we're only using, oops, we're only using these. We might have a uh, talk pair and we might have a listen pair right there. And then these move out to XLRs. And you've got an interface table that is taking your section of four wire comms into a free speak or into a telephone hybrid or into a voice of God and a nothing. So I think it's really important to say again that the idea of four wire comms is analog audio. Moving in and out of a single path. That's all it is. And so that's commonly done on XLRs, right? This one's a male and this one's a female. Like how I did that. So these go together. This has audio, uh, male always makes audio out of it and female always takes audio into it. So this is a four wire path. I was um, asking somebody to get me some materials. I said, well, we're going to do this in four wire. And they went and looked for a four pin XLR. Thusly, intensely demonstrating, they had no idea what I meant by four wire. I needed two three pin XLRs, one each way. And he was looking for a four pin XLR to do four wire hookup. He was professional. So um, that is four wire comms. But Rob, you didn't tell me any examples of four wire comms. Well, four wire comms is more of a signal flow type than it is a specific example of comms. But I can, if you want, uh, four wire comms are most often wrapped in a set of control that happens in between a frame, big frame, and a little key panel. And this key panel has a microphone and a speaker on it. And there's basically three things that happen in between this frame. And those three things are audio in, audio out, and data. Do you like my data there? Can we zoom on this? We can't zoom. Uh, my data is a bunch of zeros and ones. So these three paths together connect the uh, RTS key panel or the ClearCom uh, Eclipse key panel to the frame. And there is a four-wire section in here, but there's a little bit more. So I don't really kind of think about intercoms being four wire. I think of system to system being connected in a four wire path.
Does that make sense? This should be red. This should be blue. And I should erase this. System to system, connected via two discrete audio paths for a four-wire connection. Hope you guys have enjoyed this bit of nerdery, and we'll be back with another episode soon.